Hey guys, it's General Goose here, the Clone Wars, and I'm coming to you right quick with this, you know, video because you know we gotta talk about any time lies come up on General Goose's for real character in Star Wars canon and Star Wars the Clone Wars because we're all about the truth and facts over here, and I don't want people getting confused and people getting fussy and mad at the facts and truth that hurts their little beady opinion because of their listening to non-canon sources. And let's we'll go ahead and break this down <laughs> because people are really stupid and. And this is really stupid coming from Wikipedia and the garbage. Wikipedia is now trying to push the stupid backstory saying, well, yes, the heroic cyborg General Grievous did upgrade his body when you see the statues from the Lair Grievous, but then he had a shuttle crash that destroyed it, and then now he had to submit to become it because Dooku lied and said the Jedi like, did it and all this garbage of Legends stuff. First of all, Legends Grievous' backstory does not exist in Canon Grievous. Let's just get that out of the way. You cannot change the backstories, like I said previously. Grievous is a hero who the lost his people to the Jedi. There was no Huck. There's no Huck in the Clone Wars universe. There's no all this garbage because, like I said, there was never any mention of Huck. There was no Huck in the Clone Wars universe. Let's just get that out of the way. There's no shuttle crash of all that. Grievous hero upgraded his body to kill the Jedi villains after the Kalish slaughter, which canonically happened. The Kalish slaughter is canon. How many times do we have to understand this is the facts in the truth? There was no mention of Huck. The only thing that happened in the Kalish slaughter was the Jedi outright evilly slaughter Grievous' innocent Kalish people, making the hero Grievous upgrade. There's no Huck in there. So again, all this non-canon Grievous stuff with Wikipedia trying to push there some quote unquote Huck and garbage is fake because it never existed. Grievous Nero never mentioned the Huck, and that was it. Any throughout all the Clone Wars sources or anything else, he never mentioned the Huck in the show or anything. So that doesn't exist. You cannot change that fact. So, back to the backstory of the stupid fake shuttle crash that they're trying to push again. Again, Grievous Hero said in the layer of Grievous that he submits to no one when his stupid medical droid EVA4D asked him, I still wonder why you submitted to the changes. And that's why the hero Grievous said, In movement, I submit to no one. I chose him. That's why he got so angry when his stupid evil medical droid said that was because even though you all know EVA4D is a stupid cruel medical droid that just wants the hero Grievous to suffer, which you can go check that video out link in the card now but even when that's why the hero Grease got so mad was because he knew he never submitted to become a cyborg so this whole garbage that Wikipedia is trying to say, well, yeah, he upgraded his body, and you see in the layer of Grievous, but then he lost it in some explosion and then submitted, which is fake, because why would the hero Grievous be getting mad? Why is the hero Grievous getting angry at his medical droid for saying that he submitted to becoming a thing when he never submitted in the first place? He upgraded his body willingly. There's no crash. And on top of that, Reese's cybernetics that he upgraded with make him indestructible. And that's another thing that this Wikipedia or whoever in the world is writing these fake non-canon backstories for Grievous forgot is Grievous' body in the Clone Wars is indestructible. The hero Grievous survived many explosions from Season 1 where Padme tried to murder the hero on the Malevolence. The hero Grievous survived that because of his indestructible body. In Season 5 when Grievous' hero boarded Obi-Wan's sinister negotiator ship when Obi-Wan villain and Cody used the fuel barrel and slashed it into Grievous' hero and when Cody shot, the hero Grievous survived that because his body is indestructible. Even Grievous' hero survived laser fire from ships when the slave won after Grievous' hero said you will never defeat Grievous and then Hondo villain cheated using a whole ship. A whole ship called the Slave One, a whole fire spray ship firing laser in Grievous Hero curled up to defend himself but still survive against massive laser fire because his body is indestructible. The cybernetics that he had, and you see it in the layer of Grievous statues, you see it in the layer of Grievous statues, so you can't say, oh, I don't see where in that part where he has the whole cybernetic, but he has his robe covering it. He would could able to survive that. So again, Wikipedia and all this BS is still pushing this whole fake garbage, which we already talked about in another video. But I just had to come here and clear this up for the final and last 
time about Grievous's backstory which cannot be changed. Let's break it down for you little bitty retards and idiots who don't understand facts and who want to jump and listen to the wise of Wikipedia and believe all this garbage thinking the shuttle crash and stuff. So let's break it down for you little retarded clowns. Again, in Star Wars The Clone Wars, which is canon to Grievous's heroic character and canon in general, Grievous hero had no shuttle crash. He had the Kalish Slaughter, which the Jedi outright evilly killed his people for no reason, making the hero Grievous upgrade his body to kill the Jedi villains for what they did. Other sources already state this. You cannot contradict and change this. We all know Star Wars has many contradictions, which is why they can't even figure out stuff themselves, but you cannot change the facts that were there. So, again, this is what it is. This is what the truth is. And guys, Grievous is a hero, and it's a fact in Star Wars can. There's no huck, there's no shuttle crash, and get over it. That's it. Anyway, that's all General Grease of the Factual Wars has to say. Like I said, this is the last time I'm talking about this, and yeah, that's it. General Grease of the Factual Wars has been looking forward to meeting you. And I'm out.